Hey, Robert Murray here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up your membership site within Groove Member. It's just been launched, so not everything is functional in there, but we're gonna dive in there and, and build something out. And also, if you hold on a moment, I'll um, give you access to my $2,000 worth of bonuses just for registering for a free Groove Pages, Groove Sell, and Groove Affiliate account. So, cue the intro. Okay, so I'm in my Groove Funnels, uh, or my Groove Digital account now. Uh, I'm recording this on my laptop, my desktop, my six screen computer is um, down with a, an issue with a, uh, a graphics card. So uh, apologies uh, if, I'm, if I look a bit different today. So anyway, so we're gonna dive into Groove Member, if I've actually logged in. Let's log in. And let's go into Groove Member. As I say, not, not everything in here yet is functional. So obviously you're gonna see in here when you land, you've got your active members, your inactive members, total members, and you can filter um, using this. It's very similar to the affiliate uh, filtering. The, all the different trackings are all the same. You can go through, filter by range or by seven days, etc. click submit. Obviously I've got nothing in here yet. We've just, um, just started using it. Uh, this is just the dashboard, so we're already in that. And now we can go into content and click into memberships. So let's start with, uh, I'm gonna call this one the group coaching code. If you've seen some of my other videos, um, we are building out a, a new platform, a new product, um, I just haven't finished it yet. <laughs> and the subdomain would be, let's use group coaching code, but again, be aware, I'm pretty sure that this needs to be all in one line without any spaces because it is a subdomain. I'm guessing they're gonna create that for the membership area. So let's click create membership. And as as with Groove Sale and a few of the other different softwares, it's the same layout. So you've just gotta complete these seven steps and click save and next each time. So it's really, really, really simple. So let's um, just add, um, what's the description? Oh, that's fine, I can leave that like that. Let's uh, just grab a sales page. You know what, I don't have one handy. So I'm just gonna dump anything in there. I think I do actually have the group, it doesn't matter. Salespage.com, save and next. And uh, this part you can in, uh, add an instructor. So you can create an instructor and you can obviously go in and customize that. So let's create a, a new instructor and let's call him me, <laughs> Robert Murray, not me. Uh, in, in instructor description, um, you know what? I'll, um, I'll pause the video a second, I'll go across to Udemy and I'll grab my um, description from there. So I've just come into my Udemy account now and I'm just gonna grab that. I don't know how long or how much it will let me have. Let's grab an image, choose image. I may have one already in my Groove account. Actually, I do have that one. Let's see if that one will work. Where I'm actually teaching, so it shows a little bit of uh, description. Cannot be more than 80 characters, I thought so. So let's just cut it off here. Far too long. Let's see if that's short enough now. I have a feeling it's still too long. Let's try that. Wow, that doesn't seem to make sense why they've made that so short. Can't be more than bit strange there's something I would go into the the bug fixes and ask them to, to make that um, longer and larger so now I'm guessing uh, okay so customize so logo image so let's go in here and add our funnels qualified logo image click select and featured image 
I'm going to leave that one for now. Save a next. So build your membership. Uh, so click here to open the builder. And this is genuinely the first time I've done this. So I'm kind of excited to get in here. Wow, that's cool. I did see a demo the other day that um, that Mike Phil Same did. So I kind of get the gist of it. But this looks really awesome. Um, so I'm guessing, can I click into things or... So if you look up here, you've got similar to in Groove Pages, you've got all the different elements you can drag in. Categories, I guess I've got, oh, I can see, so I've got a main, a home, uh, and then I've got, let's say, chapter one, let's rename that. Or let's call it module one, I don't like chapter. Uh, module one, rename. So I'm guessing I can, I can, I can rename that. And I presume, Okay, so I can add another chapter. So they call them chapters, module two. So they kind of drop down in underneath. And then I'm guessing I can add another category. Category name. Yeah, okay. So let's call it, just for now, category two. Add category. Oh, cool. So let's just leave that for now. So and again, you can see the visual bit over here, which I really like. So I'm guessing I can drag these around and move. Yes, yeah, so that's cool. Um, so home has got module one, module two, and then category two. Uh, let's add module one. Just so it fleshes it out a little bit. So I can't clone that, but let's add module two just to make it feel like it's got a little bit more. And I'm guessing those, when people are in there, they can click on those and it will hide them all. So, so this is obviously gonna be the, the client's name. So let's see what I can edit in here, if anything. Ah, why is category two? Gone above category, oh no. Hmm, interesting. I'll come back to that. So okay, so I can click here. So where am I? Is it where I've clicked into where this will look? So let's go into home. Ah, it's because I'm yeah, I'm s I see. So now I'm in home. I can click there and click into the expert mode. So again I've got options here with text, background borders and shadows again exactly the same as the page builder i like the fact that they're they're now making everything within groove digital the same layout the same feel uh, so uh, so let's drag it over here let's drag in some text and let's drag in let's say it's a video so it's a vimeo oh, oh no did okay drop that and yeah, what I'm not seeing is how do I get into that or do I need to go in here again? Okay, so module two and module one are around the wrong way. But what I'm seeing here is category two is showing up there. So I'm not quite sure. Let's click save and exit a second. Okay, so enable comments, comment moderation, comments must be approved by an admin. I think I've probably set that up. So let's carry on with this and then we can probably go back to the builder. Access levels, brilliant. So, okay. So yeah, really you need to kind of put everything in inside the builder. And then when you come over here, uh, instant access standard so let's add, how do I edit that? let's call this group coaching code because what I'll have in my group coaching code there will be an upsell Oops, sorry, I'm sorry, typing upsell so I can have the, the when they buy the first product they get access to this part of the membership and then they have to upgrade to get access to the second part uh, which is cool 
Okay, so the group coaching code is added there now as a level. So I don't actually remember offhand what the next level is, but let's call it level two. And then click save. So that's great. Level two. Level, okay. So it looks like here. Oh, okay, I see. So level one is here, and you can unlock those. So if you wanted to unlock uh, module one, module two in the home, and then module one, module two in the category for this first product, and then the second product, you'd obviously have to add more categories, etc. But then you could rotate this to show um, that they get instant access. That's cool. And I'll go back into the builder and add a few more. Send a default uh, welcome email. Absolutely. You can see that that's coming soon. Just send a custom welcome email. And congratulations, your portal has been created. So let's have a look and see where and what this looks like. And you can see, well, you can't actually because um, I've reduced, but the link is member. So again, this is where they'll register. Let's just do a dummy registration. Demo. Let's just grab any password. Let's add that. I'm presuming now, if I click register, it should log me in. Cool. Okay. So up here, it's obviously got my my name. Let's, can I click on that or? Let me get rid of this up here. Uh, it's got the level that, that I've got access to. So I'm in module one. And again, I haven't added any content in these apart from, I think it was down here, wasn't it? So let me see. I don't know which one it was that I added the text and the uh, the video and actually it crashed um, at some point my laptop crashed so I may not have it in there so as you can see uh, that drop down it doesn't look like it does um, truncate but you can obviously over here as well you can click markers completed so you finish module one click markers completed and I'm presuming it'll have a little check mark or something oh no so it's completing up there so that's pretty cool. So let me go back into the builder and add a little bit more. Let's save and exit that anyway. Let's go in and edit it. So you can see it's got one member in there now because that's me. I want to go back into the builder. Okay, then uh, with GrooveSell, once they had completed everything, they um, made it so you can click into any one without going, doing save and exit. They haven't quite done that yet. Let's go back into the builder and just finish that off. Uh, I'm presuming there's going to be more functionality within here. Uh, I can't see that anything is clickable at the moment. So let's go into categories again. So let's call this, um, let's change that to group coaching. Code. And then we've got module one, module two. Let's just add another module. Module three, because I think it is only three modules inside the group coaching code. The product, second product, I can't think what the name is at the moment. So let's just call it product two. And this would be the upsell. And let's do the same thing. Let's add another module in there. Module three, I think there's four modules, so let's add the four modules. And it means I can go back in. Let me click on that. So, what I don't understand is why it's showing up there, even though it's down here. Maybe it's just because I'm actually clicking into some category. Yeah, I don't understand this bit here. Because I'm in that one. But it's still showing me module four over here. Okay, well let's just add 
um, something in here just so that we can see this because like I said it crashed before um, so let's just add a bit of text and a Vimeo video dump that there and then let's click save and next save and exit and I know there'll be more um, modifications we'd be able to, um, to work on. Oh, okay, so you can see over here, you can enable comments for inside the members area, which is cool. And comment moderation, comments must be approved. That's what I've ticked. So now we can see, um, let's have a look. So no, so if someone's bought the first product, they get access to only that. And if they bought level two, which would be the second product, they get access to product two, which is cool. And then if there's another upsell, you can add that in the members area as well. Send the default. Ah, interesting. So you have two separate links. So let's open that up. So we can see now that it's got the comments down there. I don't remember where I added, um, or which module I added the, the content to. It was module three. Hmm, okay, but yeah, as you can see, it's it's, it's um. It's probably 50, 60, 70% finished, um, but you can start dumping content in there. Uh, if I went back into the builder, I'm pretty sure that I'd be able to get access to it, and I'm presuming this is your logout. Or, yeah, so if I log back in here, of course, this is, this is this login. And it brings me back in. So yeah, I'm expecting them over the next week to, to help uh, mean you can change all the colors in here, all the backgrounds, modify all of this and, um, and make it look as cool as you can. Um, and again, I'll probably send a bug report because you can see there when I'm clicking on module one in the group coaching code, over here it's saying product two, module one. Now that could be because I took the link, the second link, here which is level two so let me try let me come in and use the other link and let's see if that makes a difference yeah, it's probably I'm already logged in no it's still doing the same so I'll send a bug report in for that uh, obviously I've, I've given myself access to the group coaching code there but it's still showing up here product two module one even though I'm in group coaching code module one so there's a slight glitch there I'll do a refresh just in case, uh, see if I can clear my cache. Okay, but yeah, you can see that um, very quickly you can build out your members area. Uh, also make sure you go down below, it'll be popping up on the screen right now to grab my $2,000 worth of bonuses to you know, get an access to your free Groove Cell, Groove Affiliate and Groove uh, Pages account. Also, if you are thinking of upgrading, uh, the upgrade price has gone up by $500, it's a lifetime access account. I bought a $1,400, you can now get, I think it's $1,800, but that means you never pay another subscription for any of these services. Uh, also, there'll be a link down in the description, go and have a look at that. Uh, make sure as well, there's a few videos will be popping up over here. Go ahead and watch those, and go down below, subscribe, click the bell, do all the usual things, like and comment, let me know what the training videos you want, want um, done. This was actually um, someone asked in one of the comments, so done this video today and apart from that I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.